Welcome to AI Unraveled, demystifying frequently asked questions on artificial intelligence, the podcast where we dive deep into the latest AI trends. Join us as we explore groundbreaking research, innovative applications, and emerging technologies that are pushing the boundaries of AI. From ChatGPT to the recent merger of Google Brain and DeepMind, we will keep you updated on the ever-evolving AI landscape. Get ready to unravel the mysteries of AI with us. In today's episode, we'll cover the top five entry-level machine learning jobs, the influence of AI ML on Web3, a ChatGPT bot subscription service to waste telemarketers' time, the various use cases of ChatGPT, Elon Musk's Twitter access limitations, in Silico Medicine's AI-generated drug, the insights gained from OpenAI CEO Sam Altman's global tour on AI usage, and how to use Wondercraft AI for podcast creation, along with a recommendation for the podcast, AI Unraveled, by Etienne Newman. Let's dive into the top five entry-level machine learning jobs that you should consider. First up, we have the machine learning engineer. These professionals develop, deploy, and maintain machine learning models and systems. To excel in this role, you'll need strong programming skills in languages like Python or R, as well as knowledge of machine learning algorithms and frameworks. A degree in computer science, data science, or a related field is typically required. You can find job opportunities in various industries like technology, finance, healthcare, and e-commerce. Next, we have data scientists. They analyze complex data sets, derive insights, and build predictive models. Proficiency in programming, statistical analysis, data visualization, machine learning algorithms, and data manipulation is essential. A bachelor's or higher degree in data science, computer science, statistics, or a related field is preferred. Data scientists are in high demand across industries ranging from finance and healthcare to marketing and technology. If you're interested in research and development, consider becoming an AI researcher. These professionals focus on advancing the field of artificial intelligence. Strong knowledge of machine learning algorithms, deep learning frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch, programming skills, data analysis, and problem-solving abilities are crucial. A master's or PhD in computer science, artificial intelligence, or a related field is commonly required. AI researchers can work in academia, research institutions, or research teams within tech companies. Machine learning consultants provide expertise and guidance to businesses in implementing machine learning solutions. You'll need a solid understanding of machine learning concepts, data analysis, project management, communication skills, and the ability to translate business requirements into technical solutions. A bachelor's or higher degree in computer science data science, business analytics, or a related field is preferred. Machine learning consultants can work for consulting firms, technology companies, or as independent consultants in various industries. Lastly, we have data engineers who design and maintain data infrastructure. Proficiency in programming languages like Python and SQL, database systems, data pipelines, cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and GCP, and data warehousing is crucial. A bachelor's or higher degree in computer science, software engineering, or a related field is desirable. Data engineers are highly sought after in industries like technology, finance, and healthcare, as companies of all sizes require their expertise to handle large volumes of data. These are just a few of the exciting entry-level machine learning jobs available today. Choose the path that aligns with your skills and interests, and you'll be well on your way to a rewarding career in this rapidly growing field. AI and ML technology are revolutionizing the way we interact with the internet, particularly in the development of Web3. This is the next generation of the web, surpassing Web 2.0 and empowering individuals with more control over their own data. To understand the impact of AI ML on Web3, let's explore some key ways in which it will contribute. Firstly, AI will enhance data analysis capabilities. With its advanced algorithms, it can process and analyze large amounts of data more efficiently, allowing for better insights and decision-making. Another area where AI excels is in smart contract automation. By leveraging machine learning, smart contracts can be programmed to execute automatically based on predefined conditions. This reduces the need for manual intervention and streamlines transactions. 
One of the essential aspects of Web3 is ensuring fraud detection and security. AML solutions can detect patterns and anomalies in real time, helping to prevent fraudulent activities and strengthen security measures across decentralized systems. Furthermore, decentralized governance is a crucial element of Web3. AI can play a role by facilitating transparent decision-making processes through automated algorithms, minimizing the potential for bias and corruption. Personalized user experiences are also made possible through AI ML. By analyzing user data, AI can provide tailored recommendations, content, and services, ultimately enhancing the overall user experience. Privacy and data ownership are central to Web3, and AI can support this by implementing privacy-enhancing technologies, such as differential privacy, ensuring individuals' data remains private and secure. Lastly, autonomous agents and intelligent contracts will become more prevalent with AI in Web3. These agents can act autonomously and interact with users or execute contracts based on predefined rules, revolutionizing the way transactions are conducted. In conclusion, AI ML's influence on Web3 is vast and transformative. From enhanced data analysis to decentralized governance and personalized user experiences, AI is poised to shape the future of the internet in profound ways. So check this out. There's this guy in Monrovia, California, who came up with a super clever way to deal with those pesky telemarketers. He's gone and created a subscription service called ChatGPT Bot. And get this, its whole purpose is to annoy and waste the time of those telemarketing scammers. Brilliant, right? All right, let me break it down for you. This genius service uses bots powered by ChatGPT, which is an impressive language model, and a voice cloner. Basically, it keeps those annoying scammers on the line for as long as possible, and you know what that means? It costs them money. Yes, that's right. Take that, telemarketers. So here's how it works. For just 25 bucks a year, users can sign up for this service and get all sorts of nifty features. They can choose to have their calls forwarded to a special number, where the bots handle those pesky robocalls. Alternatively, they can even create a conference call and listen in on the scammers' reactions. How hilarious is that? But here's the best part. The service offers a range of voices and bot personalities. You can have an elderly curmudgeon or even a stay-at-home mom engaging with those scammers. And let me tell you, these voices may sound human, but the phrases can get a bit repetitive and unnatural. Hey, don't knock it, though, because they're actually pretty effective in keeping those scammers jabbering away for up to 15 minutes. Talk about turning the tables. So next time a telemarketer interrupts your evening, just remember, there's a clever, mischievous solution out there ready to waste their time and your entertainment. So there's this student who's pursuing an electrical engineering degree. And let me tell you, he's not exactly a genius. But guess what? He stumbled upon ChatGPT a few months ago, and it has revolutionized his studying game. Let me break down how he's been using it. First off, he copies his unit outline into the chat and asks GPT to create a practice exam based on the material. Then he sends back his answers and GPT grades them and provides feedback. You won't believe it, but the questions it generates are often identical to the ones he gets in the real exam. Another way he utilizes chat GPT is by sending it his notes and having it quiz him. It's like having a study buddy right at his fingertips. But here's the coolest part. When he encounters complex equations and can't wrap his head around how the lecturer arrived at the answer, he simply asks GPT to break it down for him step by step. It's like having a personal tutor who can explain things as if he were a preschooler. Recently, he's been taking advantage of the Ask Your PDF plugin in ChatGPT. He sends it his topic slides for the week and then uses the Tutor plugin to generate a personalized tutor plan. This is a game changer especially when the lecturer isn't explaining the material effectively. And there's more. He uses the Ask Your PDF plugin to have GPT read the topic slides and provide easy to understand notes on complex information. It's like having a simplified version right at his fingertips. But keep in mind, while ChatGPT is impressive, it can sometimes be inaccurate. So be cautious when relying solely on its answers for your field of study. Cross-referencing is key. That's it. This student has found the ultimate study companion in ChatGPT. GPT. 
So Elon Musk has recently made some changes to the way Twitter users can access posts. He has put limitations on the number of posts people can view in a day, and this is mainly due to data scraping by AI companies. Musk feels that this excessive data scraping has been putting strain on the user experience, which led to his decision. It's worth noting that Musk has been dealing with the aftermath of some controversial decisions, such as mass layoffs. And he has been exploring different ways to monetize the platform. So what are these new limitations? Well, unverified accounts now have a daily limit of 600 posts they can view. For new unverified accounts, this limit is even lower, at only 300 posts per day. On the other hand, verified accounts, like those held by celebrities or public figures, are allowed to view up to 6,000 posts daily. Musk did mention that these limits might increase in the future, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Musk explained that the reason behind these changes is the intensive data scraping activities by AI companies. Hundreds of organizations have been aggressively mining data from Twitter, particularly to train large language models. Musk highlighted these companies as the main culprits behind the strain on the user experience. And that's the latest scoop on Musk's new paywalls on reading tweets. Stay tuned for more updates on this story. Healthcare company in Silico Medicine has taken a major stride in the world of medicine by creating the first fully AI-generated drug. The medicine is specifically designed to treat idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, a potentially devastating lung disease. What sets this medicine apart is that it wasn't just discovered by AI, but also completely designed by AI, making it a groundbreaking achievement. While AI has played a role in designing other medicines before, this is the first time it has autonomously identified and created a drug from start to finish. Currently, the medicine is undergoing clinical trials on human patients to evaluate its effectiveness. What makes this medicine so significant is the hope it brings to patients. Unlike existing treatments that simply slow down the progression of the disease and come with adverse effects, this new medicine aims to do more. By specifically targeting idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, it offers the potential for more effective and safer treatment options. In Silico Medicine's work doesn't stop there. They are also utilizing AI to develop medicines for other critical health issues. They are actively involved in creating a medicine for COVID-19, which is currently undergoing testing and have received approval to begin trials on their cancer medicine. Their commitment to using AI in the entire drug development process showcases the efficacy of their technology. By harnessing the power of AI, they are driving innovation and offering hope to countless individuals in need of effective medical treatments. So recently, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, went on a world tour visiting 25 cities across six continents. The purpose of this tour was to directly engage with OpenAI users, developers, policymakers, and the general public who interact with OpenAI's technology. And let me tell you, it was quite an eye-opening experience for Sam Altman. During his tour, Altman was amazed by the various use cases of ChatGPT. He saw high school students in Nigeria using ChatGPT for simplified learning and civil servants in Singapore, using OpenAI tools for efficient public service delivery. This just goes to show that the reach of AI is expanding thanks to OpenAI's efforts. Altman also discovered that countries worldwide share similar hopes and concerns about AI. There is a common fear of AI safety, and policymakers are heavily invested in AI. Leaders around the globe are focused on ensuring the safe deployment of AI tools, maximizing their benefits, and mitigating potential risks. They are interested in maintaining a continuous dialogue with leading AI labs and establishing a global framework to manage future powerful AI systems. Now here's why you should care. People around the world want clarity on OpenAI's core values, and the tour provided a platform to address this. Sam Altman emphasized that customer data is not used in training and that users can easily opt out. However, it's worth noting that OpenAI is currently facing a class action lawsuit for allegedly stealing data and using it to train their models. So there's more to the story that you might want to look into. Moving forward, OpenAI's next steps involve making their products even more useful, impactful, and accessible. They're also focused on developing best practices for governing highly capable foundation models, 
and working towards unlocking the benefits of AI. And that's a wrap on Sam Altman's AI World Tour. Hey there, AI Unraveled podcast listeners. I've got some exciting news for you. If you're itching to dive deeper into the world of artificial intelligence, then look no further than the book AI Unraveled, Demystifying Frequently Asked Questions on Artificial Intelligence by Etienne Newman. It's a must read. And now you can grab your copy from Google, Apple, or Amazon. This book is the ultimate guide for anyone who wants to expand their understanding of AI. It's packed with valuable insights and answers to all those burning questions you have about artificial intelligence. From the basics to the mind-blowing complexities, AI Unraveled brings clarity to the captivating world of AI. So why wait? Elevate your knowledge and stay ahead of the curve by getting your hands on a copy of AI Unraveled today. Whether you prefer Apple, Google, or Amazon, you can find this engrossing read on any of these platforms. Don't miss out on this opportunity to delve into the depths of AI. Get your copy of AI Unraveled now and let the journey begin. In today's episode, we covered the top five entry-level machine learning jobs, the influence of AI ML on Web3, the creative use of chat GPT to waste telemarketers' time and for students' needs, Elon Musk's Twitter restrictions due to AI data scraping, the groundbreaking fully AI-generated drug by Insilico Medicine, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman's global tour on AI usage, and the easy podcast creation with Wondercraft AI. Thanks for listening to today's episode. I'll see you guys at the next one. And don't forget to subscribe.